Japan loves this guy. He started out as a network engineer and then they wanted to give him the bird. He was Dove Award nominated. That's right, the making of Manifest, today on The Revolution. Welcome to The Revolution, a show with killer music and razor-sharp truth. I'm George. And I'm Kat. Canada's own Chris Greenwood was a normal kid. He loved computers, skateboarding, but it was a bad skateboard accident that actually became the best thing that could have ever happened. That's right. And he's been nominated for Best Song, Best Video, and has won numerous Covenant Awards in Canada and been nominated for several Dove Awards. But it wasn't until God could fully trust him. <laughs> His style is hip-hop, and it's evolved from West Coast to pop to now aggressive rock. Chris Greenwood has a way with words. He has used the word zit in a rap before, and recently on Facebook, he was sharing how he dropped his cell phone in the toilet, flushed it, had to put it in a bowl of rice to dry it out, and I sure hope that worked. I really hope that nobody ate that rice after. Here's Manifest. <laughs> I, Chris Greenwood, am a Canadian. <laughs> and I, Chris Greenwood, don't know what else to say. That works for me. Manifest came in the kitchen, talking on the phone with my friend. It had nothing to do with anything, just a cool name. Just, hey, I like that, you know, because I used to be in a group before. And uh, so we just, we're trying to come up with something now is obviously as God's grown my character and done some stuff in my life, you know, it's all about just being a light to the world and when something's made manifest, it's been revealed. And so when I'm doing my music, you know, or performing, <clears throat> I like to share and speak and I just, you know, like to share what God's done in my life. And so that's where the whole manifest thing comes from now, yeah. And before that, I was doing computers. I had a really cushy job. I was making lots of money and just doing well, you know, got married and things were great, but I was always still working on this music and it's always been a hustle, you know, it's always been something, even with the label, it's just something you got to work at. A lot of people think once you get signed or whatever, it's just this is easy ride and it just happens, but no, it happens with a lot of hard work and having a good team around you and having a vision and a goal and, you know, a lot of people want to get signed and, you know, my music, but it's like, you know, what are you really about? What do, what do you have to give to these people, you know, like just singing songs or do you, is, you got a message? What is it, you know? And when I got that down and, you know, God started working on my character, that's when things changed, that's when things started to happen, that's when opportunities came and God's like, hey, I can trust this kid, you know? Mm. Yeah. Styling. It's a freestyling yeah. practice and just keeping your mind loose and just, you know, chilling and just, you know, not stressing about it and just letting it happen, you know? Mm. Yeah. It's just, it's just connecting words together that make sense, you know, like, you know, we're sitting down, you're asking me questions. I don't care what they say about the coming recession. I'm just going to walk in my blessing and stay cool, relax. I spit raps, da da, da do it, da do it, and connecting, but making it make sense and over a beat or a certain flow pattern, but anyone can do it. Well, recently, uh, not recently, I don't know, it was a year ago or whatever, but I went on stage and I'm performing, and this girl keeps like, you know, jumping at me, trying to grab something off me or something I'm like what the heck is going on and then I'm turning around and then I see her and then all of a sudden she's got a piece of toilet paper and she's going like this with it and I'm like oh my gosh that was embarrassing um best show moment was in Japan um when there's like every single person in the crowd was singing every lyric to every song and I was in a completely different country that was pretty cool too so I do like In-N-Out Burger, it is good. I don't get to have it too much, but when I go down to Cali or Nevada or Arizona, wherever they got it now, I can get down with that, go for a little double-double action. <laughs> Not even prepared, just like my dinner. Manifesto, yo, I'ma spit the scripture. What? 
I'm sorry. You want to stop? She's interrupting my freestyle. I'm totally <laughs> off beat, trying to spit it unique without the concrete. Standing on the carpet, this freestyle and spark it. The artist looking at the cameras, my target. Straight from Canada all the way to Cali. You don't want to battle me. I'm going kind of crazy for my Majesty God. Without my iPod, tell me what's wrong. I'm reading the 91st Psalm. I'm out in the interview, still paying dues. Yo, you like my new circus shoes? Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, don't forget to check us out online, therevolutiontv.com. There you're going to find our 24-7 video channel for your favorite bands, our Twitter feed. You can also check us out on Facebook. Reach out to us. Remember, you're not alone, therevolutiontv.com. Chris Greenwood admits to being made fun of, picked on when he was younger, but he said he discovered something key that has stayed with him for the rest of his life that you don't have to believe and listen to those words, whether it's been on Facebook that you've been put down, whether you have been bullied at school or in an abusive relationship. You have the power to know who you are, who the Lord made you to be. And you guys, that is so powerful. If we could just get that. The Lord said that once you ask Him to come into your life, His glory drops down inside of you. You have a brand new purpose. It's amazing what's happened with Manifest. Here is Chris. Well, I think it's just that, you know, when there's not love, you know, when people are stepping away from God or stepping away from Jesus, you know, the whole commandment, love, do unto others as you'd have them do unto you and putting people before yourself and, um, you know, just loving people, you know, God is love and love is God, you know, and when you're not plugged into that, of course you're just going to look inward all the time and looking at yourself and that's something I even have to watch out for myself and you can totally see it with kids, it is, it is all about me and, and what I want and, you know, put, putting myself first as opposed to putting other people first, but people don't realize when you serve other people and when you give to others, that's when you really do feel satisfied and stuff and you know, if people understood that and really, you know, lived it out and saw that, hey, I, I'm going to feel better about myself. I'm going to enjoy life more as I give my life away and bless other people instead of looking inward all the time in me. But, uh, you know, at the shows or whatnot, like, you know, as traveling and touring, I'm always looking at things from a certain light. So I, I might, as an artist, I might have a certain perspective about it. But, you know, kids just need love. They just want to know that they're, they're cared, you know, and loved. And they just need that confidence you know, there's, and, and know that they know their purpose for life and why they exist. And when you take God out of the equation, it's really tough. And kids are just trying to figure this thing out and, and, and apply it and say, hey, and, and really know in your heart because it makes a difference in how you live and act. And when you wake up in the morning with like a purpose and a drive, like that's great. I love waking up and knowing what I'm called to do, knowing what I'm supposed to do in this life. A lot of people don't. You really sit down with someone and say, hey, what, do, what, do, what are you really called to do? What's, what's going on in your heart? And it's like, I don't know, I'm going to try this or, you know, I'll see if, if God wants me to open the door or, you know what I mean? It's so wish, but it's like, no, what are you called to do? You can know. Romans 12, 2 says you can know the good and perfect will of God, you know? You can know, and it's so great knowing. How do you do that? Well, you stop listening to all the, the junk out there, you know, all that d depressing, whether it's music or stuff on TV, and you start listening to what God says about you. And when I start to read scriptures that say I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. When I meditate on that and, I, and, and when it says stuff like I'm more than a conqueror, when Jeremiah 29 11 um, says that he's got a plan for me to give me a hope and a future. You know, when I was growing up, when people are making fun of me at school or I'm wherever I'm at or people, you know, I don't know if we take a class where it teaches us how to make fun of each other, but this stuff happens in school, you know. And, um, you know, when I stop listening to that and I listen to what God says about me, and I apply these principles to my life, it's like, it encourages me, it uplifts me, and it just gives me this, oh, thing. And that's where I, I, I where God speaks to me, you know, because I'm not going to hear from God if I'm listening to all this other stuff. And when you, you know, just get in and apply, the, apply these certain principles to your life, you're going to start to hear from God. And you're going to make good decisions. And then all of a sudden, you, 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 you're you like, hey, this, this works. And uh, it's not like some super spiritual thing, hearing from God. It's like, if you do this, this will happen. If you do that, that will happen. And we just I've realized that the decisions I make today will affect my future tomorrow. And I can either make good choices, I can make bad choices. When things go wrong, I can either have a bad attitude about it or I can have a good attitude about it. And it's uh it's really 
simple, basic. It's not like super spiritual. It's just like, hey, apply these things to your life. Stop stealing, stop cheating, stop lying. Start loving and watch things. And all of a sudden you'll start knowing and you'll start living this thing. You're like, hey, word up. <laughs> What up, this is Manifest hanging out and you're watching The Revolution. Peace. Even when, you know, I'm in that place, you know, I guess we would just call it a comfort zone, you know, like, you know, going to the job and my employer is the one who's has all the responsibility and I just show up and I get a paycheck and that's very comfortable and you know wanting to leave that at first it seemed like you know as an artist I wanted to just take off and you know be a rap star or whatever and thinking it's one thing and, and all of a sudden getting into it and like getting a real reality check um, but as far as um, you know just what what God has done is you know I wasn't really applying these principles to my life before, like the whole walking in peace and, and loving people. And I really got a hold of that. It really got the fear out of my life and allowed me to just be free and, and, and be myself because I was such an insecure person, always comparing myself, even the very early stages of music. And as, and as I started to like, God get a hold of my heart. And in Second Timothy that says that I don't have a spirit of fear, but a spirit of power, loving a sound mind. It, mm -hmm. it, when I got that in my heart, it, it just made a difference in me and I started to you know love my wife differently I started to treat my family differently and the results I got whether it was in my music ministry or in my finances you know and just you know learning to give you know living to give instead of living to take and you know God just showed himself in such awesome ways like when I left music or left computers to get into music it was a real dark time because I wasn't um I didn't have that steady paycheck, and it was just like, God, I had to really trust him, and so I started applying all those principles again, and God provided huge, and now I'm doing way better than I would have, you know, making more than I would have made in computers and stuff, and I'm, my, you know, my own boss, and it's been really cool. It's been challenging, but it's been stretching, and I'm learning to be a leader, and, you know, a leader isn't always the one who's the best at something. A leader is someone who just says, be first, and just goes for it, and just says, I'm just going to go for it, you know, and not look back and stuff, so... I'm learning every day and it's been, it's been awesome. Hey, what's up? This is Manifest, just hanging out here. And I don't know where you're at. Maybe you're just sitting on your couch or just chilling. I don't know. But I just want to encourage you, you know, if you, if you don't know this Jesus or this God, you know, I encourage you to really check it out. You know, when I was younger, I, I didn't really understand it. And it's so easy to just get turned off by it because of one person, you know, doing something. And I just encourage you, don't miss out on something, you know. God loves you. He wants to be a part of your life and just wants to see you succeed. You know, there's a real lie out there that says if you become a Christian, you can't enjoy your life. And that's not the truth. God wants to push you up to your dreams. I encourage you to check it out. You know, God is love, and He's just, you know, reaching out and just wants to be a part and see you succeed. Take it easy. This is Manifest. Peace. If you want to freestyle, I'm all about you freestyle. You love the freestyle, freestyle, eh? It's totally annoying. You know, you're just taking... <laughs> However you want to do it. Just dance, monkey, dance. <laughs> Earlier, Chris was talking about deconstructing those old mindsets that have held us back. Those things that people may have said about us even before we were born. Maybe we didn't even realize those word curses were spoken over us. Um, even stuff like, you know, your brother was an addict, must run in the family. Or uh, your mom was an alcoholic, I guess that's going to be my lot in life. Or I'm too shy, how can I make an impact? All of that is distraction. What you need to understand is who the Lord designed you to be. God spoke creation, but He hand-knit you. That's how precious you are to Him. That's how important your life is, your existence is. Something that only you can bring to this world is what God put inside of you. Those giftings, your personality, your talent. God is so good and He loves you so much. Something that has really revolutionized my life personally, and George knows this, is I have gotten into the Word of God every morning at 6 a.m. This is what I do. And I look up these key scriptures, like Jeremiah 29, 11, and I write those on post-it notes. I know the plans that I have for you, plans to prosper you, not to give, to give you a hope in a future. 
and I put those post-it notes on mirrors and I regurgitate that all day long. I keep those truths in front of my eyeballs and remind myself of the authority that I carry within myself. It has made the world of difference. We are priests of his kingdom. We are ministers of our God. He has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. And church, it is about time that we rise up and realize who we really are. We don't have to take those words, those empty words. If somebody was just mad one day and spewed all this stuff all over you that's not even true, don't own that. Remind yourself of who you are. You are so precious to Him. That's right. You know, we hear all these negative words, what people say against us. I mean, everybody just wants to hate. But the Bible tells a totally different story. It says that you're the head and not the tail. That you're an overcomer. And we overcome by the blood of Jesus. You know, in the Bible it says that He gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. And today you can have that victory. But it all starts by having a relationship with Jesus. If you don't know what a real relationship with Jesus is, I ask you to reach out and search what a real relationship with Jesus is all about. You can reach out to us at revolutiontv.com. We're not talking about religion. We're talking about having a real relationship with Jesus Christ. It will change your life. Thank you so much for watching The Revolution. We love you guys. If God be for you, who can stand against you?